City, one family, one night. That's Wednesday nights here on the NBC when we are all treated to the lineup of our favorite Chicago shows. And today we are so happy to welcome from three of those shows, Tori DeVito, and we will say that she's in L.A. with Annie Alonza yes. and also Patrick Pfluger, who's stuck in cold Chicago. What's up with that? You get the Chicago sun. <laughs> oh, burr. And I'm guessing Chicago's a grouchy place today after the Bears' terrible loss. Well, I haven't run into any human beings yet. It's a little early when I got here, but I'm, <laughs> I'm not necessarily looking forward to it. I'm sure everybody's a little down. Oh, I'm sure yeah, they are. They're going to be grizzly. But, well, we're gonna, we're they had gonna... a great season, though. You can't take that away from them. They yeah. had a great season. They did. And speaking of great seasons, we're about to begin some new ones with you guys. So, ladies, I would normally say ladies first, but since Patrick's in cold Chicago, we're going to start with you, if that's okay, Patrick. And, and talk about the show because, Thank you. Um, you know, we've got... Uh, some real issues I feel like on Chicago PD you guys are are tackling you know when you think about the painkiller addiction problem in this country and you think about some of the topics mm -hmm. that you all address uh, I feel like you do a good job of really talking about things that are impacting real Americans in real cities out there I appreciate hearing that yeah I'll pass that on to the writers because that's all them um, yeah I think you know when you have this platform why not you know why not why not have something to say? Uh, and uh, you know, these are all these are all subjects that that should be in our entertainment, not just on the news. You know, they should be talked about readily. You so, have, um, yeah. I'm proud to be a part of it. Well, you should be. And you, I know you guys have real officers there in Chicago who help guide you through these situations. Can you explain what that means to all your cast time. and crew? Well, uh, Brian Luch, who's our tech guy has been an, an officer for years and years. His uh, father was an officer. He was actually killed in, duty, in the line of duty. Um, also, Walt Smith, who's there when Luch can't be there. I mean, these guys are, you know, I said it before, we kick indoors over and over and over again, take after take after take. Eventually, it just becomes, you know, kind of kick and repeat. And Luch will come up, and he'll tell you, you know, the story that, that the tale that you're telling about, the real story that it's based on. And he'll tell you about the kid that's behind that door or, or the woman in distress or the guy with the gun that's behind that door. And suddenly it gives you an emotional connection to it. He ties the heartstrings to the action um, in a way that if he wasn't there, this show would not be what it is. Yeah. And I think that the ladies could say the same for their tech people. Cause, oh, oh, yeah, sure. You know, having, having him there giving con context and giving heart to the situation is, is everything. He's you know, the most important important part of the show, other than Chicago itself. Yeah. You know, speaking of emotions, uh, Tori, we've got to talk about what happened to uh, to Dr. Natalie when that wedding day fell apart as it did. Now, that's not a connection a woman yes. wants to have to your your character, but that, but that was a real moment. Yeah, yeah, it was. I never even thought about that. I, I'm, I'm hoping there weren't that many women that could relate to that situation. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was really heartbreaking. And as I've said before, like poor Natalie just kind of gets put through the ringer with relationships. You know, her husband died while she was pregnant and now she just got left at the altar with blood on her wedding dress. I mean... What else can she handle? <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully not too much more. But the show, right. the show's characters allow us to connect to all of you. And, and the same can be yeah. said with the original of Chicago Fire, which I know Emily Foster being the newest uh, paramedic on the show, the question becomes now, will she become part of Chicago Med? Because I think we've learned now a doctor is something she longed to be, right? Yeah, yeah, she was in a residency. That would be crazy. <laughs> would you be crossed crazy. over from one show to the other for as good. a lead character? <laughs> for good? You never know. You that never is our hashtag know. for today. For today. <laughs> you never know, but I do know that she has expressed to Bowden and herself and, you know, her partner that she's happy. She likes herself there. You know, she was able to turn a new leaf and really find herself at, at the fire department. And I think everyone can relate to that you know in this day and age we're all kind of looking for ourselves and looking for something that you can really hold on to and uh, a lot of the times that comes in a form of a family you realize you can't do it by yourself and uh, her family really has her so well said you never know but 
at the same time, super, super happy to be where she is. Well, it's it's one of those things where we look forward every single Wednesday to seeing what's going to happen next with all of these shows. And I have to ask as we wrap up, are we going to see a crossover? And when is it going to happen? We have to know. Tell us, please. 15, episode 15, Chicago Fire and Chicago PD. You heard it here, folks. Yeah, so that's like I a month and a half from when yeah. we come back. All right. You'll we're, see it. We're yeah. waiting for it. Well, thank you so much to all of you Yay. today. We wish you all the best. Thank and, you. And thanks for your time.